Kai, today is the day we've been looking forward to for 10 months. But I think we have been looking forward to it for much longer than that. Today is the day. It is so crazy how fast it came, but I could not be more excited to be your wife. I love the way you talk that talk, boy. You build a world with every word you say. I knew I was gonna fall for you, boy. I was only before memory was made. I was young enough, I know I was dumb, dumb enough to throw my heart in. Mm -hmm. And I know growing up in life is rough, but love at any cost is a bargain. It's quite the bargain. Since very early on, I think I always knew we would be together forever, and it just puts me in awe thinking that God has been writing our own two separate stories in a way that they would intertwine until today when those stories become one. You are the one for me, a person who it just feels so natural to be with, now and into our old age. Thank you for the way you love me. I love you, your fiance, for the very last time. Isaac, you are hardworking, patient, and so loving. I can't thank God enough for you. Thank you for loving me unconditionally and never letting me forget it. Thank you for always reminding me that you think I'm beautiful and for making me the luckiest and most blessed girl on the planet. My love for you has grown stronger and stronger with each passing day and I'm so excited to grow together and fall even more in love. I admire your positive attitude and your willingness and desire to put God first before everything and everyone. I love that you care so deeply for everyone and put others before yourself. You are my best friend, my safe place. I'm so excited to walk hand in hand with you as we discover what God has in store for you. I love you so much. See you at the altar. Summertime romance Hey, yeah oh, Summertime romance My darling Of oh, a summertime romance Summertime Of oh, a summertime romance oh, You're my summertime romance For we've come today to celebrate two incredibly wonderful people we've also come to celebrate the God who made us in his image. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any one of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Sing to each other. They say time is changing everything. Even cold is winter his grip to spring but you Isaac, today, you're getting an amazing gift. Kylie, you're who you are and who God made you to be, and that is a beautiful, powerful thing. You are the most beautiful bride. You are one of the most important people in my life, 
And to see you experience such joy and love makes me happier than words can say. Kylie, we are thrilled that you are the one that us hunters get to do the rest of life with. You have become a beautiful young lady. The way you work so hard at whatever you put your hand to, and the way you constantly pursue the things that are most important to you. She puts thought, effort, and dedication into everything she does, and I know Kylie will approach her new role as wife in the same exact way. Kylie, you just need to know today that you're getting an amazing gift. Not only a great leader, but someone who's going to help you navigate some of the difficulties of life. You challenge us to be more generous with our time and our talents, to be more accepting of people and more positive about life and others. You have no idea the comfort that we take in the fact that our daughter chose a man that comes from a home where respect and honor is the norm. You are strong, funny, loyal, and you love Kylie so well. And the reason that you are such a supporter and encourager is because you have empathy and you have such a great heart. And I know that you'll bring that into your marriage. I'll stay when the mountains are covered with snow And the ridges have weathered And when all around us is falling I, Isaac, take you, Kylie, to be my wife. You are my best friend, my confidant, and my safe place. In the presence of God, our family, and our friends, this is my vow. I, Kylie, take you, Isaac, to be my husband. You are my safe place, my true love, my high school sweetheart, and my very best friend. To be faithful to you and love you, so that together we may become more like Christ, and that our home may be a praise to him. I promise to be the spiritual leader in our family put God first in our home and to pray for you, for myself, and for our family each day. I promise to love you unconditionally, care for you, laugh with you, honor you, and respect you. I promise to support you in your goals and dreams and to dream big with you. I promise to be your number one fan and to always be by and on your side. I promise to support you as a spiritual leader in our household as we seek God together and put him first in our lives. I promise to be your protector, to care for you, support you, honor you, and respect you. I promise to serve you with tenderness and patience and to be your biggest fan, building you up with words of encouragement when things don't go to plan and celebrating with you in your successes. One day you have it, but the next it's gone. I promise to give you hugs to cheer you up when, you, when you're sad and to give you hugs when you're happy too. I promise to be a listener each day and continually tell you how beautiful you are, the definition of beauty. I promise to pray for you and our family every day and to forever strengthen, help, comfort, and encourage you. I vow to trust you, stand with you, and be obedient to God's purpose for me in your life and our lives together. I am so excited to grow together and to love you more and more each day than I did the last. I vow my faithful devotion to you as your husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse, for for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. No matter what's ahead, I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward for as long as we both shall live. Isaac, in the presence of God, our family, and friends, I vow to be your faithful partner, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. No matter what's ahead, I give you my hand, I give you my heart, and my love from this day forward for as long as we both shall live. This ring I give to you as a token of my love and devotion. I pledge to you all that I am and all that I have and all that I will ever be. With this ring, I gladly marry you. I gladly marry you. And join my life to yours. <laughs> and join my life to yours. By the power vested in me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Into my soul you stared 
crush has turned into something so much greater than any of us could have imagined. I think everyone in this room tonight can agree with me that you two could not be more perfect for each other. I love you both with all my heart and I'm so excited for your future together. I couldn't think of two people more deserving of their love for each other. And together you will grow and strengthen one another. We would not be parted from our little Isaac for anyone less worthy. But you have a strong teachable spirits, a love for Jesus and for living lives that honor him. <laughs> to see what God has in store for you two and your happily ever after. For this adventure that God's taking you on and so happy for you guys. You are loved, cherished, beautiful and handsome, intelligent, anointed, an heir to the blessing, but a child of the Most High God. I bless you, Kylie. I bless you, Isaac. I bless this union. Amen. Oh, 